tributes are pouring in following the news that New Mexico Senator Ben Ray Lujan had a stroke. Our thoughts, our prayers, our most fervent well wishes go out to Ben Ray and his family. Lujan's team made the announcement Wednesday, saying the 49-year-old went to the hospital last Thursday feeling dizzy and tired. Lujan's office says the Democratic senator is expected to make a full recovery, but that could take months. The last time a sitting senator had a stroke, he was gone for almost a full year. Lujan's stroke was a different kind, but there still isn't a timetable of when he might return to Capitol Hill. And that might be a big deal. Here's why. Unlike the House, the Senate doesn't have proxy voting. You have to be there to vote. And right now, the Senate is an even split, which means Vice President Kamala Harris is the tiebreaker. The Senate being equally divided, the Vice President votes in the affirmative, and the motion to proceed is agreed to. But with Lujan out, Democrats are down one vote. Right now, two Republicans are quarantining with COVID, but they should be back to work soon. That means for the next few days, Schumer has a majority, but after that, not so much. And that means Democrats can only pass legislation that has Republican support, which I mean is how the Senate was intended to work, but let's be serious, it's pretty partisan now. That also means it's likely Biden won't have a lot to tout during his State of the Union address. Progressives had wanted to finish a scaled down Build Back Better by then, but without Lujan's vote, that's unlikely. And Lujan's absence could have an impact on judicial confirmations, including the upcoming Supreme Court confirmation, because those only need a simple majority to pass. But without Lujan, Democrats will need to pull over at least one Republican. Straight from D.C., I'm Annie Anderson.